Hey guys, so today I'm here with my top 5 iPhone and iPod Touch games. Uh, now of course there are so many great apps and great games in the App Store, however a lot of the time it can be a little bit difficult to find them as there are just a lot of really bad ones in there as well. So today I'm going to go ahead and go over my top 5 and hopefully help you guys find a couple of cool apps. Now this is one of those really, really popular apps that you know is constantly in the top you know, 1 or 2 or 3 apps in the App Store. However, some of you guys probably haven't seen it so I'll go ahead and give you guys a little look at it. Um, so cut the rope is, well just as the name implies, you need to go ahead and cut the rope and feed the little uh, monster guy to go ahead and feed him at candy. So I'll go ahead and just show you guys. Uh, it's a pretty simple game but it's very very fun. Um, so basically what we're going to need to do is we need to get this piece of candy into that little guy's mouth. Um, now the objective is also you want to go ahead and collect the stars so we're going to drop that. I'm going to go ahead and pop that and there we go. Um, so a lot of these are easy, but they do get more difficult as you go along, and I believe there are quite a few of these levels here. Um, so we're going to go ahead, basically you cut the rope, there's all kinds of different things where, we're going to go ahead and just, this one's a pretty easy one, you need to cut the rope as they go along, and there we go. They, they There's a lot of different elements though, you know, there's little things that blow, you can push it, you know, you don't want to get near the spikes, so like, oops, like that, you don't want to do that. Um, okay, guys, that's pretty much it. Cut the rope. It's a very simple app. Um, it's only a dollar in the app store, so this is definitely something that everybody should at least go pick up. Uh, you know, it might not be the most difficult game in the world, but there are so many levels that will definitely keep you entertained for quite a while. The second app is eBoy Fix Picks. Now, if you guys have watched my channel for any length of time, you know that this is one of my favorite apps ever. This is such a great game. Um, so basically, it's, in t it's a puzzle-based accelerometer game. Uh, or it's rather an accelerometer based puzzle game. I gotta get this right. Uh, so basically the entire thing is that you need to go ahead and use the accelerometer. So I'll go ahead and just show you guys how to do this. So basically it's, you know, you entirely use this accelerometer as you tilt the iPod or the iPhone one way or the other. As you can see here it actually gives a pretty decent 3D effect. So let's go ahead and, there we go, we get this. Basically all, that's all you need to do is just tilt it right. Let's see if we can go ahead and get a little something different here. So, that's uh, not too bad I don't think. Basically, it's the key is really simple, short movements to go ahead and get it. As you can see here, it's pretty cool looking as far as the, uh, the just the great artwork. Uh, seriously, uh, just such such fantastic looking pixel based artwork. There we go. And there are 150 of these. So here, this is this is more of a uh, a city sort of one. I mean, this really reminds me of some of the old games, uh, or rather, some of the old books, like, uh, you know, when you're younger, like, I Spy and stuff like that, just with the looks of the stuff, you know, there's so many different things, and really, you know, I, I spend a lot of time just looking at the, uh, not even trying to beat the puzzle, just trying to, uh, just enjoying the, just the great artwork. I mean, as you can see here, they've spent a lot of time on it. Um, let's see if I can figure this one out here. Usually, the be the key to this, really, is to go ahead and find like one thing like for example take a look at like you know the elephant and try to get it lined up and everything else will kind of fall in place so see here it's kind of hard to do this through the camera but yeah I guess something like that I guess um, but as you guys can see here such a great game eBoy Fix Picks go ahead and definitely look it up in the app store uh, really a great great game now let's go ahead and take a look at another game that's not so popular but definitely should be in my opinion which is Galcon Labs uh, now, I've been a huge fan of Galcon for a couple of years now. It's one of the first apps I downloaded on my iPod Touch when I got it. And it's just continued to improve and get better. Uh, so basically, it's a kind of hard game to explain, to be honest. Uh, basically, you have different kinds of uh, little planets, and then you need to go ahead using the touch controls and take over the other ones. So I'm going to go ahead and just pick uh, Crash is my favorite mode. There are five different modes, but I'll go ahead and just show you one here. So basically, we take this. And we can actually go ahead and send our little spaceships. Uh, let's go ahead and, and you can take, as, oops, make sure you guys can see here. Um, but basically you need to take your little spaceships and, oops, that's not good. I'm <laughs> already failing, but um, you take the little spaceships and then you need to go ahead and just move them across to the different planets. And then crash mode, you can actually go ahead and, uh, you can go ahead and, uh, actually the, the little ships crash into each other. So there we go, that was pretty simple. Um, let's go ahead and do, I got to the menu, um, there are several other ones, let's see here, let's do billiards. Basically this is one where all the planets are continuously moving. Um, so I'll go ahead and just grab some of these, and the bigger planet that you grab, the more, uh, the faster it will replenish your ships. So we'll go ahead and just jump over here. The billiards is not my favorite mode, just because it's kind of, uh, 
kind of a little hard to keep track of exactly what planet you're going to, but let's just go ahead and just send a massive wave, and we should be able to win this pretty easy. Um, so there you go, guys. That is Galcon Labs, one of my favorite ones. There is also a standard Galcon. You can go ahead and pick that up as well. Um, but one of the really cool things... Oh, I didn't one yet. Uh, let's go ahead and just jump out of here. Um, now, one of the other cool things is it does have multiplayer. And I won't show that, but multiplayer is even more fun because you're actually against real computer opponents. It's ranked, all kinds of great stuff. So, guys, definitely go ahead and check it out in the App Store, Galcon Labs. The next game is Mini Gore. It's kind of similar to the game I Dracula, if you've ever played that, but definitely with a very, very cool look. So, we're going to go ahead and just play. Uh, now, I'm not going to do very good just because I don't, I can't uh, hold it, so i got to use my fingers a little bit oddly, but go ahead and jump in. So, basically, as you can see here, let's, let's do... I do not even see what I just clicked. Um, so, basically, you just need to run around here. Whoa! Okay, I hit the wrong mode. <laughs> okay, I'm about to die. But, uh, as you can see here, normally it's a lot easier than this, but you need to go ahead and not die for as long as you can. Wow, I picked the wrong <laughs> difficulty level. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so, yeah, I'm dying already. Basically, oh man, this is not good. Uh, but this, this game is a lot of fun. You go ahead and basically you can pick up different weapons, different power-ups, and you just need to avoid getting run into by these guys. Um, so you just shoot them. As you can see, the graphics are just excellent. And, you know, there's actually a lot of cool things. You actually unlock new characters as you, uh, whoa, and I'm already dead. So definitely not a good idea to go on the hardest difficulty. Um, but that's a pretty short look at Mini Gore. And again, a really, really great game, and I have a lot of fun playing it, so definitely go ahead and take a look at it. Okay, so the next app I'll be taking a look at is Real Racing. Uh, now, if you're a fan of any kind of racing games uh, on, you know, the, maybe the PlayStation or the Xbox or something like that, then you will absolutely love Real Racing. It is very similar to maybe like Gran Turismo for the iPhone, the iPod Touch. So let's go ahead and just without even talking, let's just jump right into a track. Um, let's just pick a first car. Oops, I did not mean to. Well, okay, I got the wrong controls, but whatever. Basically, it uses accelerometer controls uh, with some really nice graphics, and, uh, well, I just, <laughs> not even going to talk. Let's just go ahead and show you guys how this works. Um, so, the controls uh, are very customizable. You can go ahead and do gas and brake, or you can have it, have it pretty much just steer. You can really have a lot of options here, so let's go ahead and jump in. As you can see, the graphics are really, really nice, so... Yeah, I got the wrong control set up, but whatever. So, the controls work really nice, especially with the end cockpit view. And this is really hard to drive through the camera, but... So, yeah, the yeah, the way I accidentally I went too, a little bit too fast. Basically, it's going to automatically brake and automatically hits the gas for me. Um, usually, I like to go ahead and, you know, hold the left and the right uh, on the sides of the screen to go ahead and do that, but not a big deal. So... Yeah, it's a lot of fun. Uh, there's a lot of different cars that you can get. Um, there aren't that many real cars. I believe the only one is just a Volkswagen, which I have here. Um, but there is a there is a nice variety of different races and different tracks and stuff. As you can see here, the gameplay is really very solid. Uh, the graphics are really just excellent. I mean, r close to PlayStation 2, I would say. Maybe not quite there, but pretty close. And obviously, you know, it's running really nice and smoothly. Um, there's also multiplayer, quite a few different options, and, oops, I uh, did not mean to do that, but, yeah, you guys, so there you go, that is Real Racing, and that's actually going to wrap up my top five iPhone and iPod Touch games. Um, so anyway, guys, go ahead and definitely take a look at all five of these, I will have links and all that kind of good stuff in the description of this video, so, you know, you need to look up the names and all that kind of good stuff, you can find it there. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Get out of my way.